afternoon to you. I thought the weather was bad until I saw the cricket score from Johannesburg. Here's the cloud that brought the bad light and indeed the brief interruption to play after lunch. That thicker cloud has been giving some thunderstorms over the past few days and indeed could continue to do so while this match is in progress. It could well save England but somehow I doubt it. And I think as time goes by we could see rather drier weather rather than stormy weather. Temperatures 22 to 24, perhaps not as warm as you might have expected but certainly much warmer than it is across much of Central and Eastern Europe at the moment. But at least that blue air is becoming more extensive up in the far north rather than anywhere else. So I think it's going to get that little bit less cold across some parts of Europe as we go through the weekend into the early part of next week. Now looking at the high pressure across the central areas reminds me that it's going to be a much quieter weekend than it was just last weekend when of course it was devastatingly stormy and wet across parts of France and into Italy. So that anticyclone is going to quieten things down nicely but it's going to be pretty boisterous across the northwest of Europe of course including ourselves and up into Scandinavia wet and windy weather here. Down in the south we could see some rain coming out of Tunisia too into the western basin of the Mediterranean. Well, the forerunner to these stormy conditions begins this evening. It looks like we're going to see severe gale force winds extending across Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. That means to say winds gusting up to 70 miles an hour at times and there'll be some heavy driving rain to come with it. And the reason this storm system here, which is now gathering strength, it's now beginning to push northeastwards. It's going to go up between Iceland and northwest Scotland in the next 24 hours. That's how things will line up by lunchtime tomorrow. And you can see all the lines across the chart. And there's that band of rain sweeping southwards during the day on Friday. Well, today's not too bad at all, temperature-wise, up to 14 degrees now in Bournemouth, typically 11 to 14 across the south, nearer 8 to 10 across the northern part of Scotland. It's in the west where we're going to find the drizzly weather today, some more persistent rain showing its hand across Northern Ireland and into western Scotland during the next few hours, and the sunshine elsewhere becoming increasingly weak as that cloud spills in from the west. Tonight, then, we'll find the heaviest rain across the far north of Scotland. The isobars beginning to gang up on us, so it is going to get windy everywhere. There'll be further drizzle down these western coasts and the south coast as well, too. But the heaviest rain will eventually show its hand again into Northern Ireland by tomorrow morning. But it won't be a cold night. Temperatures generally between about 7 and 9 degrees. But then tomorrow, some bright weather for a while across the Midlands, southern and eastern England. Always a good deal of cloud, mind you. But here's that band of rain sweeping southwards during the day, probably reaching the southeast soon after dark. Followed in turn by rather colder weather, still pretty windy weather, but the fierce winds will be off into the North Sea with some squally showers for Scotland. That's it from me for now.